the terrible battle between a Komodo dragon and a python. In a place where there is life, there are fierce battles for survival. One of the world's largest lizards has struggled with a reptile with a flexible muscle group spanning its entire length of its body. But what will be the outcome of these two giant-sized species once they fight? Can you guess what these species are? It was the fight between a Komodo dragon and a python that takes place extremely fiercely. Don't forget to follow, like, share, and leave a comment to support our wildlife channel. Let's start watching this performance of these two animals together. Komodo dragons live mainly on islands in Indonesia, such as Komodo, Rinka, Florence, and Gilimutan. Due to its large size, the appearance of the Komodo dragon seems to be the confirmation that it can dominate the ecosystem on these islands. Komodo dragons hunt by ambush, and they usually travel in groups. Their main food is mammals, birds, and invertebrates. Komodo dragons are like belligerents, always with a fierce spirit to kill their prey. It can face many species of fear, such as pythons. The Komodo dragons will use their skill to subjudicate a muscle-powered creature to squeeze their prey to death. A python also puts a Komodo dragon at risk. However, it is no different from a real crocodile living on a small island in Indonesia. The Komodo dragon's jaws also have large, strong teeth, about 60 to tear the flesh of their prey. It also has a very good analysis and positioning of prey so that any bad guy who has bumped into it will see life as it is slowly coming to an end. A python is usually very strong. It can wrap and strangle an enemy in just a few minutes. With its huge size and flexible muscles, a python that has started a fight is not an opponent that the Komodo dragon can despise. But the important thing is, is that the Komodo dragon is venomous. So it is too easy to bite and kill their prey after a few hours. The Sava deer, once bitten by the Komodo dragon, is injected with the venom and even running 11 kilometers away, the giant lizard can still smell it. The fight will come more difficult with a stronger python, but the Komodo dragon usually dominates a large territory on the island. There are a few species here that surpass them to be at the top of the food chain. Seeing the danger of Komodo dragons is like that, but the brigade python is no ordinary creature compared to other prey. Any animal has strengths and weaknesses to learn on and find ways to overcome. Although he was good at hiding, the Brigade Python could not avoid the cunning observation of the Komodo Dragon. The Dragon knows what the brain is, and that place that makes the Brigade Python completely lose its ability to control and coordinate the muscle that worked rapid. It starts its attack from this central position. Once the Brigade Python head was targeted, the Komodo Dragon repeatedly used his teeth to chop off the Brigade Python's head. It just took one bite, but it had to be careful not to let the body of the python instinctively wrap around its head. If its jaws and head were squeezed by the Brigade Python, the hunter would now become the hunted. Komodo Dragons are very smart when using their final bite skills and merciless throwing blows against the Brigade Python. After only a while of struggling with the Komodo dragon, the python had to say goodbye to its life. To ensure that its prey is completely dead, it not only grabs the head, but when controlling the brigade python, the Komodo dragon continues to use its jaws 
to bite parts of the body of the python. Unable to struggle anymore, the python can only accept being sentenced to death by the Komodo dragon. The body of a healthy Komodo dragon usually takes down prey much, much larger than its own size. Komodo dragons often hunt water buffalo, deer, pigs. There are many recorded cases of Komodo dragons also attacking humans. It is a cold-blooded animal found by Western scientists in the 1910s and lives only in a few islands in Indonesia. We cannot find dragons especially closely related to extinct dinosaurs anywhere other than Indonesia. It is this distinctiveness and prominence that makes the Komodo dragons attract a lot of curiosity and visits from tourists all over the world to the islands of Indonesia. So the Komodo dragon also becomes an economic benefit to the people in addition to the unfortunate events that happen when it attacks people. The Komodo dragon can swallow a large python with its enlarged stomach, which can hold more than 70% of its own body weight. Although the battle is somewhat more difficult to deal with than other animals, enjoying the brigade meat is also one of the needs of the Komodo dragon. Compared to a healthy water buffalo, the brigade python can still be easily defeated. For water buffalo, hunting only buffaloes that are exhausted due to the dry season on the island. They can't find grass and lack of water are easy prey for Komodo dragons. After the dry season is over, in the rainy season, Komodo dragons will have to face temperature regulation. The advantage of hunting will decrease. The strength of the water buffalo will also increase because now the grass is green and on the hills, Water can be found everywhere. The brigade python in particular is in general one of the largest animals. The patterns on its body are also very beautiful. But it cannot easily deal with an adult Komodo dragon because of the Komodo dragon's hunting skills are already extremely skilled. The python also can have the venom to deal with the most stubborn warriors on this island like the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons really look like they were born to survive on this island of Indonesia. From food, the environment is quite sustainable for it to live and develop. However, it is also facing many problems when climate change has changed more or less most of the landscape around its environment. Komodo dragons will gradually run out of food if water buffalo and savannah deer no longer exist. It is hoped that the Komodo dragon will still exist and maintain its life and thrive on the islands of Indonesia. Because this is the only dragon species that has survived to this day. And more than that, it also contributes a lot to tourism in the villages near the island and more developed people have a much more preposterous and stable life than before. The terrifying battle between the Komodo dragon and the brigade python is one of the fiercest and fascinating natural confrontations. This also shows the fighting ability of the Komodo dragon, as well as the smart handling to both to avoid attacks of the brigade python and kill their prey to enjoy. In addition to hunting, Komodo dragons also have habitats similar to hyenas. It also eats carrion, it has a sharp sense of smell and a quick scent to help find the location of dead animals to feed on. Not only is there a remarkable clash with the brigade python, but the Komodo dragon also often has classic battles with many other animals. Although he is the hegemon on the island, when he meets the crocodile, it is unknown whether the Komodo dragon can still keep his initiative or not. All will be in the next episode when the crocodile steals the eggs of the Komodo dragon. So hopefully the information shared about this classic battle between Komodo dragons and pythons 
has brought you many new and interesting things. Good day and see you in the next video. And don't forget to follow and like to accompany our Animal World channel to discover more miracles from the natural world.